latest build. There's an aquaponic growing tower. First prototype. I'm pretty stoked with this so far. This looks like it's gonna be awesome. So I wanted to give you my uh, first impressions of my little prototype here for my tower garden. It's a real simple setup and I've done it on a budget because I want to prove that we can make one of these for real cheap. So just run through it. This is only a prototype at this stage, so there's still quite a bit to work on. So as in probably some other videos you, you would see on YouTube, I just uh, I'm using, I think it's about a four inch pipe. Um, just a plastic PVC pipe, an old guttering pipe. And uh, I've just heated up these areas with a heat gun. And I've used a little form just to mold the shape for our plant cells. Now at the top, all I've used is a little plant pot. I've got a hose pipe. And the plant pot was perfect because it had all the holes in it already and I didn't even need to uh, to drill uh, too many extra holes. Just the one for the hose pipe. The hose pipe runs down all the way into our sump container here. If I just lift the lid, I've just got a very small, and the tower's going to lean over a bit. I've got a small pump. I may just turn it off actually. Just so it doesn't dribble everywhere. So I've just got a small pump. Um, and it's just rated to um, 1.5 meter head. So it's built for a fountain. The pump is for a fountain that can pump up to 1.5 meters. And this is about 1.5 meters, uh, the length of the pipe. So it's working really, really well. So I kind of wrote some measurements on here. Um, the length of the cut was 70 millimeters or seven centimeters. And between the plants, I've left 200 mil. Now, some other people were leaving less gaps, but um, I thought I wanted a bit more space um, to allow stuff to grow a little bit bigger. It's just a prototype, so I'm sure we can always adjust this if it doesn't work. Now, this has been running for about 10 minutes, and I'm really happy with the fact there's only a few little drips that have come out. And what we could do is, I don't know, maybe put a few extra holes around here so any excess can drain back in. One of the advantages of this system is it uses so much less water than it would do in conventional gardening. So I'm really keen to see how this is gonna go. Now I went for the size, the size gap I did because we've got these little rock wool um, cubes. I haven't sown any seeds yet, but they seem to fit perfectly in the gap. Now what I'm gonna do to stop them falling down is around here, gonna drill a little pilot hole and then put a screw through, a uh, stainless steel screw, that's just gonna stop that from falling in further. Uh, so no soil, just gonna be the nutrients from the water in the sump. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Um, any comments or feedback you've got on this video, please leave in the comments section below.